Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric. Welcome back to the channel that is about building a two motor extreme off-road monster truck from two Tatras and from two Teslas. And this is episode 47. Sponsored by a wonderful Patreon, Patreon's team. Thank you very much guys for your help. If you would like to join our team, there is the link down below. Last time I configured the final setup of the build. So it looks like this, but uh, obviously I made some uh, adjustments since then because you can see over here, after I cut the tube, I realized here we have a lot of space over here. This is the, this is the, place where the differential sits over here and these holes holes and these holes they line up and secure the differential in the tube and over here there is the control place where uh, this actuator controls <coughs> the locking or unlocking of the differential and it works with this lever over here and it's engaged into this lever so this moves moves like this so what i'm going to do i'm going to cut this off as much as i can because if i do so i might not need to adjust the bars the steering bars i can show you here because the differentials is a little bit bigger <clears throat> we, it would cost to get the steering mounting point away, more away from the axle. And I would have to probably make some uh, custom adjustments of these bars. But if I cut that piece over there, I might not have to do that. You can see also here, uh, this is another controller or actuator of, the <clears throat> of this. Enga uh, engagement of the T case, which is located over here. I don't know, you can see that here. There is similar lever and uh, same principle. You just put it, I think, this way. And it will unlock and lock the, the T case with the Tesla motor from the rest of the, of the drivetrain. And I made one mistake over here because I forgot to put this plate over here between the tube and the T-case. It's supposed to be there because uh, no, right now I messed up this distance over here. I will not be able to control that locking mechanism over here. So I need to uh, split it and put this to, uh, plate over there. And we are going to probably use it as a bracket for the Tesla motor. First thing I'm going to deal with is this tube over here. And uh, because we are going to put there this plate uh, and uh, we want this part as short as possible, I will cut it over here, over here a little bit more. And also here is some gap over here. I think we can uh, make it closer to get this part even shorter. So let's go. Awesome! 
So I already got it on the, on the workbench, and we are going to short it by the two centimeters, and we are going to measure it with the ingenious tool. It was, uh, <laughs> it was originally the lamp. I don't know what this came from. I, I don't know what this rod came from. And we are going to perfectly measure the length by this. It will be way better than before. Oh, well, check this out. We are just going to grind down the edges over here and we will be done with this part. It would be nice if I had another. I think it's inclinometer or something like that in English. When you have the gauge over here and it shows you exactly like that, but I don't have it, so I think it will do the job. Check this out guys, look at that, we have it precise and straight, almost like from the lathe. I would say maybe quarter of a millimeter, maybe even better precision. Awesome. Awesome guys, I am very happy with the results. I just put it into the bath, this is old diesel from the Tatra. It was dirty, so I will use it as a cleaner. And uh, what we are going to do next is, <clears throat> we are going to work on this tube now. We need to, I will grind it here to make it a little bit more straight, and then we will cut it over here.
Hey guys, it took forever, <clears throat> but we have this edge perfectly straight and we need only the part where the mounting point is for the steering. We don't need this. Here will be the two with the differential locker. So we are going to cut it here now. Amazing guys, I just finished cutting this front part of the tube. This is the one we need. Where is the mounting point for the steering? And uh, we are going to get rid of this one. Let's, let's finish this piece. Guys, it takes incredible amount of time. I am done with this one. Both surfaces over here and there are smooth. I am done obviously with this one, which is cleaning here in the diesel. And only the one which is left is the one from the rear, rear tube, and which will go just behind the front axle. And we'll cut it here, here, and I will have to clean this one this surface and this surface. And after that, we'll be done with the tubes for the first part of Tatra. See you tomorrow. The next day. Hey everybody, it's next day and we'll continue where we finished last time. Check this out. I finished these two pieces. Look at that, how precisely cut and grind it it is. So this is all we are going to use from that long tube, almost two meters, and there are, there is the, there are the leftovers of it. And now we will continue on, on this one. There will be three cuts and three grindings. I wanna get it done today.
Amazing, another precise cut is done. Check this out. It's perfectly smooth and straight. Over here you can see that the place where the differential, where the differential sits. And the last thing is, uh, we need to make this tube shorter, 49 millimeters. So I need these holes for uh, the differential attachment. I need this oil plug. So we will cut it probably here, 49 centimeters somewhere here. Wow, another cut. I need to smooth it down over here. This is the crucial part. And then we will take about two inches from this one and it will be done. Okay guys, I have the last piece of this tube left. As you can see over here, I just finish and clean up the differential and this last tube. And what we are going to do is to put this differential into this tube and it will be a little bit out and we will take the measurement exactly how much it is and then we are going to cut this last uh, component of this tube to the measurement we are going to measure. It's secured in the proper position over here, the differential in the tube. And now we have to make, uh, we have to cut this tube uh, uh, the way that the, this differential will be about 20, I think 23 millimeters below this point, somewhere like this over here. So we have to make the measurement really, really precise because there is no room for error. It must be exactly, I think, 23. I will take a look at what I wrote before. But that must be exact distance. Otherwise, it will probably not work in the truck if that, if that measurement is not correct. Let's go.
Well guys, it seems like I am uh, making it because I have here about 25 millimeters over here. It's supposed to be 23, so I have about two millimeters here to take when uh, I am going to uh, straight up this edge of this tube. Amazing! Okay guys, I finally got all these four components for the front tube and I will show you how they will go there. This flange will go to the front axle. Next one will be this differential. Differential little locker. And... Ah, pretty heavy. This will be there like this. Now the part of the tube where is the steering mounting point. Just like this. And the last part will be the place where the tea case will go. We are done! And we are done for today. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. If you would like to support this channel, there is the Patreon link down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.